Can I be honest? I used to dread communion. You have to understand, I grew up going to a very strict Baptist church. Communion in my church wasn't a time of unity, remembrance, and connection with God. We were admonished to confess every sin before taking communion. Kind of like God was standing overhead with a large club, poised to bash us if we missed one and actually dared to take communion. We were told if we didn't confess all of our sins, we could get sick and even die. After all, Christ died for us. He expected us to clean the slate before we could represent that we claimed a part of his remembrance ceremony. As a little girl, I'd scramble to pray for forgiveness for every indiscretion I could remember. When the cups or bread got close to my aisle, I would start begging, God, I don't think I can remember them all. Please tell me what I'm missing so I don't get sick. The fear of not making the cut was overwhelming. It's amazing how much perception can skew reality as a child, but it didn't end there. It stayed with me. Being new to Granger Community Church, I hadn't taken communion yet. So when the pastor mentioned that we were going to participate in it after church one Sunday, that familiar anxiety enveloped me. I started the normal scrambled penitence that accompanied all of my previous communion experiences. I just wanted to get through it and get out of there. The walk from my seat to the front of the church was unnerving. When I broke the bread, dipped it, and put it in my mouth, suddenly I felt an overwhelming wave of peace that immediately brought me to tears. If you could imagine growing up the way I did and living with a palpable fear of a chastising God, you would know what that peace meant to me. I thank God for that peace that I know only He could give. This false image of that bully holding the club was replaced by the true image of a loving father whispering, no checklist needed, just come as you are. It's as if he stood on the other side of that cup and said to me, you're free, I love you. I could feel the joy from head to toe. I know now that this is how communing with God should be. I used to dread communion like a bad diagnosis, but now I can see it for what it truly is, a gift the gift of unconditional love.